What's that now? Don't like the cold? Can't stay in today. We have a ritual to perform, you and I. your name, girl. But will the goddess speak it back? <laughs> Normally it would be the mother who declares, if you had one. The whole village would attend and matriarchs perform the ritual, but we are outcasts. Even so, we keep the tribe's rituals. Otherwise, we might become like the faithless old ones who turned their backs on the goddess. But their wickedness doomed them. To us, we're left the splendors of creation, beasts of air, water, earth and steel. It is one thing to hunt a beast, another to hunt a machine. You must be humble and respect their power. I will teach you this. One day. No, 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 off your knees. It's nearly time. And yes, you may speak to me. You came to bless the naming. Have not six months gone by since we entrusted her to you? But we are outcasts. You by choice. And she, well... I am a high matriarch, Rost. I bless whom I choose. Then you honor us. Yes, yes, now go and be ready to declare. Go! Oh, mother, this child needs a name by which to know her. That your love may warm her life as the rising sun warms all the earth. Speak her name! <laughs> and so her name is blessed. Stop this at once! What have you done? I've blessed the naming of a child. Stubborn woman, you call that curse a child? What did she tell you about his birth outcast? Answer! I've done only what you asked. To raise it, yes. We said nothing of love. Enough! And you, blessing its name like it was one I of the I know my duty to the them. Tribe. And to you. Without consultation. I'm here. And wherever you go, I will follow.
That's a lot of berries. You're quite the gatherer, aren't you, little bast? Now go and see if you can find some more, hmm? Well done, that's a good boy. <laughs> Children, come with me. She's an outcast to be shunned. There. Oh, come on. There. Can get through. This must be a ruin of the metal world. One of the old places. Ross said never go in places like this. But I have to find a way out. up ahead. What's that? A dead person. There's something shiny there. A metal door, closed. Maybe this device I found can help. A shape, it's connected to the door somehow.
door changed color too. Uh. It did it. Director Evans, flash traffic from USRC. Black quartz encryption. I've rooted the message to your hollow grid for viewing. Love his little big man. Look, Daddy can't be there with you and Mom, but we can still have a party, right? <laughs> sure we can. <laughs> Show me. Show me again. I can do. He's right behind you. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Happy birthday, Isaac. Daddy sure does love his little big man. Look, Daddy can't be there with you and Mom, but. We can still have a party, right? <laughs> sure we can. <laughs> Happy birthday, Isaac. Daddy sure does love his little big man. watching the clock tick down to midnight, and I'm thinking, am I the only one who gets the symbolism of this? It might have been worth it if Skylar had gotten drunk again, but I seem to be a mistake she doesn't want to repeat. I saw them lining up in the community room, like cattle in a slaughterhouse, but smiling at each other. Shauna handing out meds, like being alive is some kind of pain to be eased. Well, not me. I don't want to go quiet. I don't want to trail off. I want a period at the end of my life sentence, not an ellipses. Hell, <laughs> an exclamation mark. So if that upsets whoever finds this, too bad. I don't know anyone, anything, anymore. Seriously, record our thoughts. Why did they die here? Great what idea, happened to Director them? Evans. Like, I haven't done enough for posterity already. Like, I wouldn't be here like this if not for posterity. I'm done with posterity. Posterity can go. And pray for us, sinners. Now and at the hour of our death. I mean, death. I'm sorry. It's been a while. And, well, these meds Johnny gave us are really something. So, uh, okay, from the top, kids. <clears throat> Hail Mary, full of grace. And maybe that's all I need, you know? That moment the door opened and you were staying there. Wearing that retro wave dress and the way you smile. I had to look away, are you gonna see? On my face, what had just blossomed inside me, you know? <laughs> it was just an instant, but I knew. I knew we'd be forever. Okay. 
Machu Picchu. Always wanted to see that. I never did. Why didn't I go with Owen when he asked? Stupid. Hey, Hello. Well, he found me. Ross found me. Hey, Come, girl. Take my hand. You don't belong down there. Come! <sighs> Such places are forbidden, Aloy. I fell in. They are of the metal world. What is that on your face? Nothing. Did you find it down there? No. Give it to me. No. Aloy, such things are dangerous. No! <sighs> well, if you're gonna go sneaking away from home, you'll need to know how to survive in the wild. Come, Aloy. Home now. But starting tomorrow, you will learn to hunt. muttering to that plaything. We descend to the valley now. Follow. The wilds can be dangerous, Aloy. You will need to stay close and do as I say. I know. Now. You're still scratched up from that fall you took yesterday. So let's start there. Take this medicine pouch, and I'll show you how to fill it. See this plant over here? It's called salve brush. Come, gather its berries in your pouch. Good. Now eat the berries. <laughs> they may taste bitter, but they can save your life. Always keep your pouch full of medicinal berries, flowers, and plants. Where are we? This valley is just a part of all Mother's embrace. Embrace? The Nora tribe watches these lands and keeps out the most dangerous machines, usually. Further down river, we'll find a herd of machines, and I will teach you how to hunt. Are they dangerous? All machines are dangerous, Aloy. Their power must be respected. But I will be beside you. Hmm. Aloy, a machine's coming. Crouch and follow me into there. Now stay low. Little one. No, Aloy. Such machines are called watchers. You must learn to avoid their gaze. If you are to survive in the wilds, I will show you. Listen close and do as I do. Stay still. Wait for it to pass. Now keep low and follow me across the trail to that tall grass. Come, back this way. The slower you move, the 
quieter you'll be. And crouched walking is quieter than upright. Wait for it. That's the last of them. Let's move on. You did well. They didn't see or hear you. Now stay close. That herd should be just ahead. and he is of the tribe. Maybe he doesn't like the tribe. And he is a fool. Come now. Let's find that herd. Follow. There. See them? These are called striders. Ha! Get! Why'd you chase them off? Huh. To show you how some machines startle easily if they detect you and run away. They're best approached by stealth. Don't worry. We'll catch up with them further down the valley. You'll see. Now, I want you to find some rocks that fit the cup of your hand. Why? Do as I say, Aloy, and gather the rocks. I will show you how to use them. Those will do. Follow. can't hurt machines, right? No, but they can distract them. Draw them into traps. Like that watcher over there. It must be dealt with, or it will warn the herd and send them running before we get in range. Warn them? How? The machines speak to each other, Aloy. Unless they are first silenced. Now you stay here on the ridge. On my signal, throw rocks and draw the watcher over to me. Wait for my signal. Girl, it's safe now. Harvest the kill so I can teach you how to make arrows. Use the stalks as arrow shafts, 
and metal shards for our heads. Good. You'll never run out of arrows if you know how to craft what you need. Let's put those arrows to use. Follow. Here. Stay low in the grass. And be quiet. Aloy, follow. It is time to make your first kill, Aloy. Strider. One of the weaker machines. But even a weak machine can kill a hunter, if she's careless. You must study your brain. Its hide is thick, but there are spots where it is vulnerable. Like its eye. Can you guess another? The canister on its back. Is that a- Keep firing! You did well today, but you have much to learn. Tomorrow, we train again. What was that? That boy. The one running the brave trails. Follow Aloy, quick! Do this slowly and quiet. Can't let them see me. their paths. Almost there. There he is. Hey. 
Hey. What? How is this? Shh. Follow me. Wait. Oh, Mother, bless that girl. Bless you both. She, Boy! She saved me. I, I just wanted... Boy! Seal your lips! They are outcasts, both. And she is motherless. Come now. Back to Mother's heart. should not have spoken to us. It's against tribal law. We'll go home now. Follow. I know the way. Mother. My mother. Aloy, I've told you before, that's not for us to know. You were just a newborn when the matriarchs brought you to me. So the matriarchs, they know? It's not so simple. But they know. Aloy, we are outcasts. So how do I make them tell me? The matriarchs? There is a way, perhaps. So tell me. It will be dangerous. How? It would take years of training. I don't care. How do I do it? Tell me. The proving. The tribe's rite of passage held every year. Those who pass become braves. But to the one who wins, the matriarchs grant a boon. A boon? Yes, whatever the winner wants. Then I'll do it. <laughs> whatever it takes. I'll win the proving. I see. We'd best get started then. Your training will be hard. And it'll take years. Start training? Yes. Follow.
Rost! 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 Where is he? Two days before the proving and he goes off without me? He wouldn't do that. <laughs> 